Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and delighted to be joined as always by Stuart Robson and very much looking forward to bringing you live action from the Liga Portugal. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And they kick off here. Gonzalo Ramos. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And this is how the starting 11 looks for Benfica. Joao Mario starts with David Neres out wide. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. Enzo Fernandez. Joao Mario. Nicely saved. <laughs> and there's the delivery. Well, not cleared away completely. And problem solved for now. Rafa. Well, possibilities inside the box. A very timely interception. Enzo Fernandez. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. Rafa. David Neres. And teammates to play it to. Clean challenge. Still passing it around with authority. 
Able to clear the danger. Corner kick, though, here. He's driven in the corner. Well, it has come to nothing. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. <laughs> Moving into the advanced position. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Florentino. <laughs> Plenty of support here. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. This looks threatening. Well, the supporters think it's on. And the keeper more than equal to it. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. Now sending it in. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Going well. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. Florentino. Rafa here, still on level terms, moving the ball nicely, superb block, and he could be in proper trouble here, and players waiting in the centre, surely, oh commanding goalkeeping, They take it short. Otamendi. And it took a touch on the way through, so a corner here. Delivering it. Well, the danger is still there. Grimaldo. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Now can they counter clinically? Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Gilberto. Well, Benfica have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see, and they're playing really well and creating chances. It's surely only a matter of time before they take the lead here. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Fernandes. Grimaldo. And here's Joao Mario. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. Physically strong and secure on the ball. The first half here comes to an end.
Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark and attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been very quiet so far. He just hasn't got away from his marker. He needs to find a spark from somewhere and start testing this goalkeeper. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Rafa. Well, oh, nothing productive, really. Rafa. Gilberto. Good movement. Rafa. Opportunity. Oh, yes. One minute. And it doesn't come as a huge surprise. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Carvalho. And teammates to play it to. Real chance. Oh, a fantastic save. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Just not looking confident in possession. Francisco Geraldes. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Well, they keep passing away. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly and he times it perfectly. So back underway, they've levelled it at 1-1 here. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. João Mario. Rafa. João Mario. Rafa. And a goal! Just like that! Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. James Lea Siliki. 
Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, not to be in terms of the counter-attack. Florentino. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And reading it absolutely superbly. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, offside anyway, albeit a tight one. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Mendy. Rafa. It's there for him. Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. And space to cross it. The outcome is a goal kick here. So a personnel change then. And he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. And they will make the change now. Yeah. Rafa. David Neres. Well, you can absolutely sense the frustration growing in the opposition camp. They can't get near the ball. Given away by Benfica. Francisco Geraldes. Siliki. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Putting his body on the line. Rafa. Grimaldo. Given away by Benfica. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And a substitution in the offing. Rafa. Oh, he's through here. And a crisp effort, just over the top. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Run it superbly to take back possession. Joao Mario.
Fernandes. Rafa here. Frederick Aursnes. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way, but in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer, and Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.